Hi everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Pico PSU and I'm going to be talking about it and why it's not exactly the best one-size-fits-all drop-in replacement for every old computer. Because in some ways the Pico PSU is not what it's cracked up to be. So let's talk about what the Pico PSU is first. The Pico PSU is this tiny mini ATX power supply that was originally designed for like Intel Atoms and other single board computers such as, you know, the ones with the VSC3, the VSC7, the ones which don't take up a lot of power, that sort of stuff. And recently these have gained popularity for powering other computers, especially vintage ones, because of how small they are. And people don't like noise and people just want something reliable. So, this is the Pico PSU and what it does is, I'll explain how it works first of all, let me place the screwdriver now. So, the Pico PSU, what it does is it takes 12 volt power, and in this case we've got an open frame 12 volt power supply from DigiKey. That's what the project said to do. And then what it does is, usually it's got a jack, but I cut this one off and soldered it right to the board. Then it takes the power, and it goes in here, and what it does is it converts it to ATX. So this basically converts the other voltages, because this is 12 volt DC power, it converts the other voltages from the 12 volts and then it sends it to the computer, essentially. So these are very popular with old computers. The problem is these aren't what they are cracked up to be. And let me explain why. This is a Sharp X68000 with the Pico PSU circuit board that is on GitHub and everywhere. Now the Pico PSU board, basically what it does is it sends out these voltages through some, it, I forget what the kind of mount is, but it's got the whole screw down wire mount, you've seen them before, that like open frame power supplies and whatnot will use, and it's got that. And then it has a 4.7 ohm resistor and a 74C series chip. Let's see if I can zoom in, okay, because, okay, 74LS04A. I think that's what it is or something. It's a 74 LS04. That's what I know. And this chip essentially, it, it's an inverter chip, so it inverts the signal because the X68000 uses the reverse of the ATX power good signal. So this reverses it, so it works with the x 68 And then there's the 4.7 ohm resistor. So this is all set up. It's assembled. I tested it. It works. And the thing with the X68000, see, this is an X68000 Pro. I'm going to put this aside. So the thing with the X68000, it uses a very unique power system. Aside from having floppy drives that eject like a Mac, the X68000 also has soft power. There's a power switch, but it's not a physical power switch. It's actually, if you can see it, it's on the motherboard itself. And if you've seen systems like this, you'd be wondering, why would a system have a 120 volt power switch on the motherboard itself? Well, good question. That's because the X68000 is soft power, and it's this early implementation of soft power that is notorious for being very picky about what it wants to work with. And I say that because a lot of times when people would repair the original power supplies, Soft power was the one sore point. Same if there was battery corrosion, soft power might not work. So there were a lot of things that could cause soft power to not work on the X68K. And one of them is using a power supply that it just doesn't like, like this Pico PS. Alright, so we've got a green light here on our open frame power supply. We've got a green light on our Pico PSU. And we've got a red light on our X68K. But... doing nothing. Nothing. If we push it here, we look at the fan, let's uh, push it. Nothing. No red light, no nothing. Nothing. It's almost like it's dead. 
completely dead. Alright, so I tried several things as well to get this thing working. I tried using a CD drive, which was, you know, not really working that well, to try to see if the X68000 would start up because the Pico PSU wasn't getting enough load. It didn't work. I had a 90 watt Pico PSU. It, I thought it worked, but I wasn't getting any sound. I was getting some crackling sounds out of the power supply instead of the game I wanted. So then I tried getting out my old trusty Antec power supply. This is a Antec power supply. It's a, uh, you know, MT352 80 plus bronze. This was for like some small form factor Core 2 Duo i5-ish, early i5 type of system. So I pulled that out and I thought, you know, maybe I'll put this one back in, which I was using to test this board when I built it and see if it works. And what do you know? It powers on. We get the insert floppy screen when I insert the floppies. Right, so, right, so this is plugged back in now. Wait for it. Guess what? The audio works. So the audio works, the computer itself works, and it functions in every way that it's supposed to when I use an Antec power supply and not this Pico PSU. I think it speaks for itself. Look, even the fan works. See? The game loads. The PCM works. See this? Speaks for itself. This X68K works with a regular off-the-shelf power supply. It didn't work with this Pico PSU, and with the previous Pico PSU, I didn't get negative 12, which is required for audio. Basically, you can't trust Pico PSUs with these old computers. Look, turning it off, soft power works there too. The point is, Pico PSU can't always be trusted with a lot of applications, including the Sharp X68000. And this is why. Sure, the Pico PSU is great when it works. You don't have to shove a barrel jack outside your machine. You don't have to deal with any of that. You can just, you know, install it in the original PSU cleanly and not have to worry about anything when it works. Which right now it's not working because these x 68000s if this does not like this power supply, but it works fine with this. Basically, don't trust Pico PSU if you want something to work 100% with some hardware that is very strange, like this X68000. Really, this X68000 is an edge case with a lot of things, I'll admit. But, you should just remember that Pico PSUs are not a one-size-fits-all solution for every edge case you run across. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.